So A stands for the all. You can remove uh, remove permission for all the users together. Or if you want to just remove for the current user, you can use O or G for the group and uh, uh, like that. So we'll do it for the all minus R, which. A minus R means I am removing the re read write from all the users and the file name. So now when you see there are no read permissions for any users here, you can see the difference. So when I try to access uh, now 123.txt. Permission is denied because I have, I have no permissions to read the file. Okay, so that is for the ch mode. Okay, uh, there is one more way you can do the change ch mode. Now, once you see this file, for the read, the it has a four uh, four bit uh, four bit or four points for it. Yeah, four points you can call. For the write is 2 and for the exit is 1. So consider if I want to give all the writes All the permissions read, write, execute to all the users. So you just write 777, which is the addition of all of this read, write, and execute. And so now, once you see, all has the read, write, and execute. Okay, and this is one empty slot right here. It shows if any directory is there, like uh, okay. So for the desktop, you can see there is a D in that. That that means that it is a directory. Okay. So we are done for the file access permission. Is everybody following? Yes. Yeah. Okay, now for the process control, as in to view the process ID of the current process going on in uh, into our process. So let's see what I have right here. So currently there are only two processes going on. So let me create one more process. Now you can see this is my new process which is running right here. This is the G edit right now which I am running. Okay, so how how we, if we want to kill a process? So there is a command for that, that is a kill and the process ID. Okay, let me see what my process ID. Kill 2155. Once you get the kill command, you can see the this is one is the terminated process, G edit, and the remaining process. You can't kill this process because I guess uh, they are from kill one nine two six because this is the process where we are running our uh, terminal right now. So if you want to kill forcefully, then you can do it by using. 
but I don't want to do it, so it will close my system. Minus 9 for the force termination. Uh, I guess that's it for the process control. Yeah, how to, how to uh, read the process and how, how to kill the process. So there's a foreground process, but it is not really necessary, so I'll skip that. Now starting with the VI, which, which is the most important part right now for this lab. So VI is just like a normal editor, like <coughs> Notepad, uh, Notepad, Notepad++. Plus plus. So how can you use the VI? So in your, what Any others having any problem? start a VI editor. So just write VI and if you want to create a new file then write any random name. So lab2.txt. So that's what I'm using lab2.txt. Enter. So this is our basically VI. When you try to write something it won't it won't take any inputs because <coughs> VI editor has two modes. One is the command mode and one is the insert or input mode. <coughs> so when you want to write something, you have to move from command to input mode. So there are two ways of doing it. Either you can use A command or I command. So let's go back to our virtual machine. When you, when you press the key I, then, you will, then only you will be able to write something. Is everybody following? Right? So, now, if you want to switch from uh, input mode to command mode, press the escape key. Then only you can write any other, uh, you can use any other command, uh, any other, uh, yeah, commands, like A, which is, okay, let's go step by step, oh, right here. So, there's a command called A, yeah, so, as press always uh, when you want to move from in uh, always when you want to type a command press the escape key always before entering any command so it will switch if you if you are into the input mode it will switch from input mode to command mode okay so a what does the a do start uh, and it opens the uh, character after the current character so let me move to my first So when I now type escape A, it will go to the right next to the current cursor where I was. And you can start writing right away. Now you will wonder in there how to how to delete it. It must not be working. So use X key. Escape X. You will see it will delete from right hand side. If you want to delete from left hand side, shift X. That is the capital X. It will read from left hand side. Okay. 
So let's move on to the next. Uh, as you as we used to see the eye, it will uh, start from the right next to the current position. If you enter capital I or shift I, then it will go to beginning of line and you can start writing it right there, as you see. So consider I am right, I am starting writing here. I move on to an end of the current line and press shift I. It will go on to the start of the line, then I can start writing right there. Okay, so what's the next? Okay, what if you want to insert a new line without pressing an enter? So there you can use escape key and press O. It will, it will directly move to the next line and you can start writing right there. If you want to, if you want uh, one line above the current line, then you press shift O and write down there. Is everybody following? Not really? Yeah? Okay. So, what if you want to replace directly, not uh, without pressing a back key, then again typing it. So, there is a way for that, using the R. So, consider, uh, let me write down a proper text for that. Okay, so now press I. So, if you want to replace this, uh, <coughs> Two with three, then press escape key R and whatever you wanna uh, replace it with. So I wanna replace it with three. So just press three. So it, it will replace the current character. Now uh, let's move on to the cursor movements. Here you can wonder that the arrow keys are not working well. So that there are keys for. Uh, moving the cursor in the VI, which are H. H is for the moving the cursor to the left. There is L for right. There is J which goes down and K for going up. Uh, so consider if I want to go to line, the, uh, line number 4. So you, you can also do it with Four and four and the J. So it will directly go to the fourth line of your uh, whatever text it is. Following? So that is the moment. Then we'll go to how to delete it. As I told you, X is for deleting from the right. And the shift X is for deleting from the left. Then what if you want to delete a word? So you can simply press escape key D W, which will delete the whole word. A word. And there is a undo also if you want to undo the current uh, thing which you. It is shift U. You can say shift. U. Okay. If you want to delete the whole line, just press DD. It will delete the whole line. Right? Okay, so what? And you can, as you can see here, you can. the line from the cursor point you can use D and the dollar sign it will delete all the things from your right is everybody following yes no